All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together the animation machine. So start by printing all the parts. And once you do, grab the crank piece, pop the knob in and C clamp it into place. Make sure everything's rotating before you move on to the next step. Grab the stand piece with the bigger hole and slide the crank into the lower hole. Grab the shaft with the sprocket and the hex hole and that slides onto the hex of the crank. Slide the flat sprocket onto the end of that shaft and make sure the teeth align with the first sprocket. Now you can slide the other stand piece on and C-clamp it into place. Next, do the same thing with the other sprocket and shaft. Again, make sure the teeth align on the sprockets. Pop that into the top hole and use the long circular shaft to hold that into place. Throw a C-clamp on the end of that. Pop the stand assembly into the base and make sure you push it all the way down. Then grab the stopper bar, C-clamp it into place on the left side first. Then throw the other side on and C-clamp that into place as well. Next is to assemble the chain. Throw the two segments together in the small shaft and C-clamp to hold it all together. And then do the same thing with the other side chain. Then wrap the chain onto the sprockets. And then use the other small shaft to hold that in place. C-clamp on that. Then repeat that on the other side. And then give it some cranks to make sure that everything is moving smoothly. You might have to crank it backwards and forwards. And if it's a little bit tight, throw some WD-40 into where the shafts and the stands combine. Now you can start slotting the animation plates in and they just slide in like this. You'll notice on the animation plates, there's these squares on the top. Those indicate which number plate that is of the animation. Make sure that you put them in an order. And once they're all in, you can start cranking and enjoy. Make sure you check out all 10 of the different animations and let me know if you have any questions.